Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is another uh, video in the series from Dermoscopy Made Simple. Today we're going to look at rare and unusual tumours. Now, there are lots and lots of these in dermatology and many of them don't really have specific dermatoscopic features. But we'll show a few that uh, may have some that are some value. Most of these tumors will present as pink, rapidly growing nodules. And as I say here, as such, they're elevated, firm, and growing, so EFG. So if you've got any pink nodule that's elevated, firm, and growing, then uh, you've really got to do a biopsy on it to determine the nature of the lesion. Now, in some of them, vascular features such as polymorphic and dot vessels can help, you know, if you're thinking of an amelanotic melanoma. And that's reasonably specific uh, for that pink, elevated, firm, and uh, growing lesion. But many of the others that we'll see don't show any consistent uh, vascular patterns um, to allow them to be diagnosed dermatoscopically with any certainty. So let's have a look at some of these rare and unusual tumors. This is an atypical fibrosanthoma. It's a tumor that's probably akin to a squamous cell skin cancer, generally seen in the elderly in sun-exposed areas. And, uh, you know, this, is, this was actually our current one, which makes it even more difficult. Um, you can see varying pigmentation in this. You might think that's a, a melanoma uh, with a large amelanotic component. Um, you couldn't be certain, uh, in fact, looking at this. There's some blue-black uh, structures here, blue-gray structures down here. Um, here's just a red uh, mass of, uh, of vessels. There weren't any other specific features. So in general, with a lesion like this, it's a case of uh, biopsying it to see uh, where you go. These are usually treated like uh, poorly differentiated SCC and excised with uh, five millimeter uh, margins. If you don't excise them widely enough, then you'll get a recurrence. They very seldom metastasize them. Here, those are different kettle of fish. Um, this lesion is a Merkel cell tumor, and these are Merkel cell metastases. You can see again they're presenting as pink, uh, smooth shaped, dome shaped uh, nodules. And dermatoscopically, um, I don't have a good view of this, but I'll show you some that we do have in a scans blog shortly. This was the punch biopsy. You can see most of the blue cells are down here in the uh, dermis. There's almost a clear zone here uh, uh, just underneath the epidermis. And then when you look at them, you have these packed blue cells uh, in the dermis. Now, sometimes with Merkel cells, you can, and, and with some of the other uh, lesions that present as uh, pink, elevated f uh, firm nodules, you'll see branch serpentine vessels in focus on the surface because of their rapid rate of growth. Now, don't let that uh, mislead you into thinking that it's um, a basal cell skin cancer. The rapid rate of growth will uh, put you off that diagnosis anyway. This was another uh, Merkel cell that uh, we have here. Again, look at this, it's presenting as a large nodular plaque, uh, no ulcerated areas. Again, look at where all the cells are. They're deep in the dermis, and they're down there early, and hence you get spread through lymphatics and vascular. Um, in fact, this tumor, Merkel cell carcinoma, is uh, worse than uh, um, deep, uh, thick melanoma in terms of your ultimate prognosis. Again, you can see here small round blue cells in a packed arrangement. There's certainly some larger, much more atypical cells here, but often they're not, you know, they're just packed in blue uh, in the dermis. This was another one that we had. This one's uh, courtesy of the SCANS blog and Cliff Rosendahl. A pink nodule presenting on a gentleman's forehead. Um, this was the lesion here. Cliff felt there were some fine linear irregular vessels in this. I don't think we can actually see that. At, uh, let me try just making this a bit bigger. No, even at this magnification, I think it's difficult to to pick out um, these vessels in this uh, 
in this lesion. Let's go down and look at a, a few others. But again, pretty nondescript. Pink, elevated, firm, growing rapidly, needs to be biopsied. By the way, that case you can view in Dermoscopy uh, Atlas. Um, Cliff has it uh, has it put up there. If we just uh, swiftly click that, we can have a quick glance at it. Cliff's got the uh, the lesion here, close ups, some other features, and uh, the histology of uh, this particular uh, case. And he'll tell you a little bit more about the about the case there. Um, now, here's another Merkel cell. Now, I'm showing you a lot of these just to show you how varied they are and how difficult it is to make a diagnosis based on uh, dermoscopy. This one was for Dr. Simon Hosking. Um, this was the lesion presenting here as a ready pink uh, nodule rapidly growing on the arm. And I really couldn't see any definitive vascular features um, looking at, at this, certainly not in this amorphous red area. Here you might see some serpentine uh, vessels, linear branch vessels, but uh, really not a lot. But probably the best Merkel cell we have in the blog is this one. And this was courtesy of Dr. Hilton Beck. Um, this was the presentation here as a large pink dome-shaped lesion. And uh, Hilton was able to get these dermatoscopic views. You can see they're quite thick, these vessels, but they are branched. Um, he compared this to a boab tree. Those of you who uh, live in Australia will know this is a tree with a large trunk that stores water and just little branches coming out from it, um, a boab tree. But uh, they are all in focus. This again was the, the histology of, uh, of this lesion, these densely packed blue cells deeper in the dermis that have a propensity to spread. So those were our various types of uh, Merkel cell tumors that, uh, that we've had. But I don't know if you can say there's any definitive uh, vascular element that would allow you to make a diagnosis. It's really a biopsy. Here's another unusual tumor. This one presented as a blues-like lesion all around this area here on a man's temple. Um, and this was an angiosarcoma. Now this is a tumor of blood vessels. And when you blow up this area here, you can in fact see that it's made up of a series of linear vessels, you know, and slits almost. Um, there are some dot vessels in there as well. But, you know, under the lower power with the dermatoscope times 10, it, it really looks red structureless. So an angiosarcoma, because it's a vascular proliferative tumor, can give a picture similar to a Kaposi's, um, where you get uh, the channels in between the collagen bundles. Um, or you can get sometimes more dilated vessels between the collagen and the fat bundles in an angiosarcoma that goes deeply down into the tissues. This spreads quickly and widely, and uh, generally it's a wide excision in radiotherapy or just straight radiotherapy with a very wide margin. We were talking about Kaposi's. This was a Kaposi's, again presenting as a red, uh, non-scaly uh, peripheral nodule here. Um, dermatoscopically, really red structureless with some white septi. Now, some pyogenic granulomas will give you a similar picture of red structureless with uh, white septi. So it can be difficult. You've got to be thinking of this particular diagnosis. And you've almost got to suggest it to the pathologist because it can be difficult for the pathologist to pick this up, as can that previous angiosarcoma. The vessels can sometimes be so small that uh, the pathologist, unless he's specifically directed to it, might miss it. So. Kaposi's dermatoscopically can be red structureless or blue structureless, a mixture of both depending on the position and density of the vascular channels in the skin. Um, and we'll end up just looking at some clinicals of Kaposi's as well. There's the one that's presenting just as a bruise like, well, it's actually a vascular proliferation there on the gums. Um, always look inside the mouth, that's often where Kaposi's can present. There's a much more verrucous and uh, nodular 
variant uh, occurring in the lower legs. This is uh, another variant here, a sort of bruise, again a bruised-like proliferation of vessels in the skin here. It's uh, a more papular nodular presentation of uh, tumor vessels in the, uh, on the thigh here. So Kaposi's is a herpes 8 viral infection, and usually it's in immunosuppressed and uh, HIV patients that you're going to uh, see this particular tumor. But remember about the ones inside the mouth. Sometimes they can be very flat, macular, and just look like, uh, look like a bruise, but it doesn't resolve. So... No doubt I'll add more unusual uh, things to this, unusual tumors to this particular section of the website when we get them. But I think you'll see how difficult it is to make a diagnosis of either Merkel's or uh, angiosarcoma or Kaposi's for that matter, um, or atypical fibrosanthoma to make it without a skin biopsy. And uh, I think that's the take-home message for this. Don't rely on your dermatoscope in these circumstances. Ele anything elevated, firm, and growing has to be biopsied to find out what it is. Thank you very much.